G'day and welcome to MW Laser. My name is Matthew. Now in this video we're going to have a look at the software installation and the calibration file installation for the RD CCD uh, Mark Vision system, which is uh, optional extra by special order on our R series laser machines. Now when you receive your laser machine, you will also receive this USB drive, which has, contains all the user manuals as well as the software for the CCD camera and the calibration files for the uh, camera that we've already performed the calibration prior to shipping it to you. That way that you can install the calibration on any machine without needing to perform a calibration each time. This will run on a Windows based PC, not any other operating system. So the USB drive contains the CCD software and we're going to install that to start with. We'll need to install the RDC Mark Vision 64. Double click on that. And it's important to remember that your USB needs to be connected to the camera during the installation. Just follow the steps and let the installation finish. This little pop-up screen will come up asking for the type of camera and the controller that you're using. Now, on some uh, machines or PCs, this will pop up behind that screen. So if it does, just close the screen that's in front of it and then click on OK so that you can see that file. Now, I've already installed these uh, drivers, so yours will say that they're not installed, but uh, you will select Install and then perform that operation. It will go through and install all those drivers and once complete it will uh, show that they're already installed and you can then close that screen. The next thing we do is we can then go back to the USB drive and go down to RDWorks software and run the version 8 setup. Now the R-Series laser machine has its homing zero origin up in the top right hand corner so we select that origin as top right. We can select the language we're using and you can use Windows 10 or Windows 11. This is actually just set and can't be changed. And the unit size that you're using is in millimetres. We need to install the mark point function. The camera model is SV300. We can't install the camera because we've already installed those drivers. So the next button we press here is the uh, install button for RDWorks version 8. It'll pop up saying install finish. Now if you're connecting your Rewida controller, your RD controller via Ethernet, you won't need to install the USB driver. Uh, but if it's connected to your PC via USB, this is the control card, not the camera. The camera has to be installed by USB but uh, this one here is for the controller. So we'll install the USB driver if you're using the USB connection. Once those steps are finished, you can press exit. So that is the installation. And now we're gonna have a look at the RD Mark Vision and open that file. So this is RD Mark Vision Cut and what we're going to do now is press F6 or you can go to the file menu and you can see set parameter or F6. We need to input the uh, vendor password which is RD8888 and confirm. What we're going to do here is just read the information from the RD controller into the software. Once the vendor settings have been read, we can go to the user parameters and again press read. If you didn't set the homing position before, you can adjust that here. Once this information is being done, we can press the X button to close that. Now you can see at the top right hand side of the screen, we have the vision camera. And we can see that we've got the white light on and the exposure is not very good. So we can go into model set and we can go into the camera parameters and calibration. Now this enables the camera parameters such as contrast, gain and exposure to be adjusted. If the screen that you're seeing here 
is in a mirror image or upside down in relation to how it's sitting on the machine. So it's sitting this way in the machine, but uh, if we're looking at it and it's upside down, you will need to rotate. So you need to rotate. After you've rotated, close the application and come back in. We don't need to go through all the calibration again. As I mentioned, we've supplied the calibration files on the USB drive with your machine. Those calibration files have a file name that is the serial number of your machine. So if you have multiple machines of ours, please use the right one for your machine. And for convenience, I've just copied that USB drive onto my PC. That way I don't lose the files, but also just ease of access. So we go to the CCD uh, folder for your machine and you'll see that the serial number shows here and that's the calibration file for it. We press open and that has now imported the calibration. We can now close that. So the next thing we want to do is we want to see whether our mark points are detected correctly with the camera. So we have a mark point which is a circle so we will select circle, but you can use other types of mark points, but you will need to know the dimensions of those when it's detecting. So you can use triangles, squares, crosses, checkerboards, or even a QR code. For ease of use, we're going to uh, go with a circle and the diameter of that circle printed on the paper is uh, six millimeters. And you can see that on that paper, I have four different mark points in close to the corners of that machine. So what we do here is we then say we want to detect anything that's 80% similar to that and uh, a length error if it required, but what we're doing is we're doing a match test. So the camera will look at it and you can see it's put a blue cross here over the top of our mark point and it says that that is 5.693 millimeters. So what we can do here now is say okay and type in 5.693. So that's uh, all we need to do there. And now what we want to do is uh, whatever you have printed that you want to cut, you will also need the cut file. So we're going to be importing the cut file associated with that there. So what we will do is we will press import and we will find that cut file which can be an AI or a DXF, and it needs to match what you have printed and you want to cut out. So I have my A3 test here as an Adobe Illustrator file, and we'll open that. You can see that it's come in with the black being my cutting, and I have some blue mark points there. Now it's important when you're creating your files that you use colors only within this palette, otherwise they may not import correctly. What we'll do is we'll go over to the export and we will set the blue layer to output no. If it automatically comes in as yes, you can just change that quite easily here. And because it's outputting no, we don't need to worry about power and speed. The black layer we're going to cut, we'll leave the speed at 100 and we'll just leave it low power for now. It is only paper. So we say okay. So you set those to whatever material cutting parameters are required. Now what we're going to do is come into here and select one of the uh, mark points. So this is the mark point that the laser is currently uh, positioned over the top of. So what we'll do there is we'll use this set first mark point position, the red dot on the target, and it will create a mark there. And we need to go over here and say mark first. After you've done that, uh, I'll just zoom out so you can see it happening. We can select each of these individual mark points and use the blue add mark point to each, or we can remove a mark point that we've created accidentally or if it detected too many mark points. But in this case, I'm just gonna auto search for the other mark points and you can see it has found those. Now we're ready to cut. So we've already imported our file, our laser is positioned over the, um, the printout that we want to cut. So what we can do is I'll just switch screens so that you can see them both happening um, and we will go from there. 
So now we can press start. The laser will now look for those mark points. Once it's found all four mark points, it will start the cut. See there, it's uh, cut it out successfully, and uh, that is how we set it up and test our uh, CCD Vision Mark system.